I'm John from Adam. I'm the Director of Business Development. We're here to talk with Mitch from In Your Face Designs, who is a client of ours. Hi, my name is Mitch and I'm the owner of In Your Face Designs and I'm here to support John in this case study. Originally, we were, you know, an everybody, everything to everybody company. Uh, you know, we did, uh, we fixed printers, we hooked up monitors, we were kind of the, you know, call us and we'll do anything. Uh, years later, we found a very specific requirement to be, you know, that specific IT company that was able to give hosting for a very low cost. Traditionally, when small businesses, you know, decide to get into the technology sector, they have a lot of challenges from a cost perspective. They have to, you know, buy the equipment, they have to have someone hook it up, they have to, you know, have it hooked up right, security, backup, monitoring, and it's kind of overwhelming. So after we noticed that opportunity, we decided to offer, you know, virtual private servers, which give small businesses, uh, you know, the infrastructure to do these things that otherwise they wouldn't be able to do otherwise. And we're able to do this for a very low cost that saves them significant money, well brings them to the enterprise level hosting that they would have, you know, if they were a large corporation. You know, so many business owners spend countless hours every month updating their website, and those hours can be just minutes. So what we do is we provide our clients with a hosted platform for their websites, which allows them to go in, make the updates they need within minutes, so they can get on with what they do best, and that's building their business. John, I don't know if you remember, but uh, June 17th when, well, I was telling you about June 17th, and how the lights turned off. And what I mean by that is where we were um, hosting, well actually we had a, another provider uh, outsource, you know, we were outsourcing the hosting. Um, everything just sort of crashed and what, what had happened was there was a node and, and you could tell me if I'm making sense here because I'm not the tech guy, but there was a node of some sort that just wasn't compatible with the environment and uh, the only option was to change it and that there would be um, 48 to 72 hours of downtime. Wow. And when we have hundreds of clients on our platform that rely on this service, uh, you can imagine how stressful that was for me. So uh, basically, I sort of, I guess, posted a, uh, a note on Twitter, which was you know my frustration coming out, I guess, and I was found by one of your um, one of your colleagues uh, found me on Twitter and had the solution, you know, that this is Adam, we're, we're Canadian, um, we have all this great equipment, here's the website, and I have to say that I was just very impressed with what I was reading on the site. And uh, just after talking to you, uh, everything was confirmed, and that's how it all started. I remember, you know, Mitch coming to us and, uh, you know, you coming with a problem and, you know, kind of a fear about, uh, you know, maybe waking up the next day and, you know, that server not being there anymore, or the company disappearing and, you know, what are you going to do next? And, you know, when people come to us, sometimes they come in crisis, you know, and they, they are unsure what to do. So what I tried to do is I tried to, you know, take your requirement and, you know, put your mind at ease knowing that we have 100% network SLA and that we've been around for years and you know we don't just have one node that can go down uh, you know we have redundant nodes so if something does happen your business doesn't have to suffer as a result of it. I always thought we had good performance but whatever you guys did is just increase that performance and we're getting feedback as a result we're getting you know wow the sites are loading faster and the system is just you know, I, I could just get in and out a heck of a lot more quickly than I used to. Okay. So I really thank you guys for that. For sure. No, and I mean, we understand that, you know, first of all, you know, if your business is down, you guys lose money. And we were trying to come up with a way that would, you know, let people's mind rest at ease. And, you know, the way that we found to do that was to offer an SLA. So, you know, telling people that we are so confident, you know, in the uptime, you know, of your environments that we're willing to pay you when something goes wrong. Um, you know, the support, we only hire certified people because we don't want you phoning here, um, you know, and getting somebody who doesn't know exactly, you know, 
the problem or you know exactly what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. And another big thing that we do is you know we allocate one individual or two to you know your specific you know environment so that he you know gets very familiar he or she gets very familiar with what you're working with so that when you phone you don't have to explain everything they've already dealt with you you know previously um, and that's also you know credited to our great ticketing system you know by Lux or CRM and uh, in addition to that you know I completely understand uh, the performance requirement in any you know any business and you know we've developed our own custom uh, appliances to help with you know the the VPN security uh, that side of things and you know the big thing that we owe this the performance to is IBM um, again you know we use all IBM equipment and it really makes a difference running on you know hundred uh, percent of the best hardware what I liked best really about Adam was um, was that you had a phone number that we could call also <laughs> right. that you were proactive with the service um, our old provider basically said well we fix the problem when things happen so and they I think pretty much literally wrote uh, to me that uh, they operate under a reactive model <laughs> and I remember yeah and I remember that that you're saying well wow we, we're really proactive and that's right. what it's all about it's about patching the systems and making sure that they're always healthy absolutely yeah and you know that's something that you know we're huge on is proactive support so many companies out there you know when something goes wrong or something breaks they'll fix it but what our business model you know really relies on is the proactiveness and monitoring everything 24 7 so that we can see an issue before it's an issue and diffuse it so that it never actually affects your business perfect because if I don't have a, a good host I don't have a business so I'd like to uh, you know give you give everybody you know a big tip and um, you know virtualization is something that has been an unknown to so many people for a very long time it came out years ago uh, you know when VMware was really trying to break into the market and it was really a big unknown back then and even today people hear virtualization and they go well I heard that you know physical is better than you know virtualized environments and we're gonna stay with physical and the biggest suggestion or recommendation I can make to any company, small, medium to enterprise, is embrace virtualization. It's the way of the future. Um, you know, the concept of being able to do you know, more with less, having you know, instant backup and recovery. There's so many advantages that go along with virtualization. Um, it's just unparalleled compared to you know, physical environments. And it truly is the way of the future. Virtualization patterns have been increasing, increasing you know, year over year. And uh, I really would like to, you know, tell everybody um, to just embrace the cloud. It, it's going to be the future, and uh, I'm really excited for, you know, what that houses for, you know, a us and, you know, b everybody else. So, like John mentioned, virtualization is just a big part of any business nowadays, and I believe that our business is completely virtualized, whereas we don't have a physical location. Um, everybody works from their own. Um, well, their own location of choice. Um, so I, you know, believe that it is the way of the future. Um, some tips that I think I would give out to, um, to to you would be: don't be afraid of technology, and don't be afraid of using programs like Twitter and Facebook. That's how I found Adam. Um, sometimes just uh, expressing your frustration in in these programs. Um, you know, there are people out there listening and there are people who have the solution. I'd really like to thank you, Mitch, from, you know, In Your Face Designs. I know you're a busy guy. I appreciate you coming here, taking the time to speak with me. And uh, again, thank you very much. I appreciate uh, your time also, John, and uh, for having me. Thank you. No problem.